Hey everybody, uh, welcome in the quick video. This video, this video is about uh, installing third-party plugins, VSTs, inside machine. It doesn't matter what machine controller you have, you know, the MK1, the MK2, the MK3, the Machine Studio, it's all the same process. It also doesn't matter if you, uh, which software version you're using, you know, even the old 1.8 version, it's all the same process. So, you know, it doesn't matter what you own, as long as it's machine, it works like this. So you start with creating a folder and a location uh, you want. So let's just make a folder. Uh, typically I always create a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version, although 32-bit is more or less used. But So let's just make one. I always put 64 or 32 at the, part, at the end. I'm just naming this non NI VST 64. Okay, so um, then over here I got a, I got a few um, free VSTs from Voxango. I'm just gonna install one of, one of them. So basically, all you do is you search for the .dll file. You know the DLL file that's over here, and basically all you do is just drag it into that folder that you just created. Boom, that's that. So now you have that done. Then you go to machine, then you go to preferences. And in preferences, you go to plugins, you go to locations. And then all you have to do is add the location. And there we got the non VST 64. So you hit OK. So now it's over here, it's in there. Now all you gotta do is rescan. And wait a moment until it's done rescanning. And this is one method, by the way, uh, hold on until this is finished because with some products it works a bit different. But with simple VSTs like, uh, like this one, it's just, uh, I think this one is a spectrum analyzer. No, it's just EQ. This one is just EQ, I think. I think Voxango Span is the spectrum analyzer. Anyway, but with some programs it works a bit different. It, it will guide you through the process. But you will always start with creating a folder where you want to put that DLL file. But um, when you install um, something like, uh, I don't know, um, FabFilter Pro or something, you know, FabFilter or uh, Robpap and whatever, or Omnisphere, you know, it will guide you through and it will ask you first for a location to put uh, the program. And then it will ask you in the next step, you, you leave that as default. And then in the next step, it will ask you for a location uh, to put the content, you know, and that usually is the, the DLL file. So that's how that works. But with simple uh, plugins, yeah, I'm just rambling because it's still uh, scanning. With simple plugins, it's just a matter of dragging it into uh, into that folder. And typically, all you have in that folder are DLL files and sometimes uh, presets. It depends on the plugin. I don't know why it's taking so long, but should be done any moment now. Yes. Oh, Omnisphere is a big one. Yeah, come on. Okay, so that's that. So now it's scanned. Just close it. Let's go to a to an open pad. And then you see over here. Um, yeah, there we got them. Voxengo and spec. And there we got it. Maybe I should have placed it in a, in a different location so you could have seen it work. So let's just do that. Let's put it on a group. You see it, it's working. So um, yeah, that's basically how to install uh, third party plugins inside machine and figured just make a quick video about it okay so um, if you have any questions uh, just let me know all right 
thank you for watching and uh, i hope this was helpful and uh stay tuned for more videos all right thanks have a great one peace